So Charlie runs a, a content agency called Proof Content, which she started in her final year of university and now has a network of over 150 freelance writers. Mm -hmm. Power of networking, eh? Hey? Like I said before. Um, and, and she helps businesses to you know, grow their business through optimizing their websites and converting customers online. So tonight, Charlie is going to talk about a business founded in 2012 that began in 1903. Really? 1903. <laughs> yes, I did get that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the story of my business begins a long time before I was born. It begins with my great, great, great grandfather who failed his civil service exam and decided to resell his textbooks along with his brother. Receiving many more responses than they needed, they decided to buy more textbooks and resell these as well. Turning over just 10 pounds in their first year, this was the beginning of Foyle's The Bookshop. <laughs> um, since then, his entrepreneurial drive and, his, and the company, the family business, has inspired much of the family to start their own businesses as well. His son added a cargo airline to the business. My grandmother started her own accountancy firm. And my dad became a serial entrepreneur, selling his first business when he was just 22 and starting the first business class only airline. I wrote my first business plan when I was 15. And um, it was for a female only taxi driving company, um, which I still think would have given Uber a run for its money. <laughs> Um, so with a family like this, I've always known I wanted to have my own business. It was just a case of what that business would be. The other passion that the family business inspired me was a passion for words. Since I could read, I've lived and breathed books. From Beatrix Potter to Harry Potter, I've lived in Charles Dickens's London, C.S. Lewis's Narnia, and when it felt like I'd read all of the children's books available, Tolstoy's Russia for some reason. <laughs> Um, because you can't really make a living out of just sitting in your room and reading books all day, I decided to embark on a career in the next best thing. So I started in marketing at a travel company. While I was there, I learned just how competitive this space could be. There's lots of players in a very small space. Um, your margins are incredibly low, and that um, leads to a low return on investment. The, um, in most of our management meetings, the topic of conversation was, why are we spending over a million pounds a year with Google? This was at a time when SEO seemed like it was really new and exciting, um, and it seemed like a way that you could get leads to your website without having to pay each time someone clicked on your ads. So we put together a proposal to rewrite the content for the website to boost our search engine optimization. Um, in the proposal, we had three options. One was to hire a traditional marketing agency, um, which would be cost effective, um, sorry, costly and could possibly take quite a long time. Or we could hire in-house writers, but once they'd rewritten the 2,000 pages on the website, what would we do with them? Or we could have built our own network of freelancers, but we would then have to have people in-house to manage the freelancers, and what would we do with them when the website was rewritten? Needless to say, the proposal didn't go through. <laughs> and this was a problem that stayed with me while I went off to uni to study English and history. While I was there, I, did, I blogged for them in my free time. I had quite a lot of free time because we had eight hours of lectures a week. Um, and I soon felt that I wanted to do some more writing. It turns out there's only so much blog content that one company needs. So I tried to find new clients. And if you have your own business, or you've been a freelancer or a contractor, you'll understand this problem. All you want to do is do your work and do it well. And actually, you're spending half of your time doing that and half of your time finding new clients and chasing up leads that really don't want to hear from you. Um, so as I was procrastinating writing my dissertation one day, this thought hit me. I was surrounded by all of these people who could write really well, had lots of free time, and were always looking for cash. And so the idea for my network was born. We now have over 150 writers in our network, um, and they can write in everything from tech to travel, retail to finance. Um, that we can produce content at scale and cost effectively. And the most important part of my job is that I get to help writers 
who um, get paid on time, find new clients, and focus their time doing what they do best, writing. <laughs>